Here's my question to the residents and the people of the Bronx, really, in general. What's up with these credit card scams lately? It's kind of a big deal. Everyone I know from the Bronx talks about it. And nobody seems to give me a full, concise answer. I've resorted to Google to get to the bottom of this, but no. It's something that I've known from prior experience. And it's something people from social media love talking about, but I don't see it in a portal like Google. But it seems like there's so many credit card scams that you Bronx bangers are getting involved in. <laughs> Here's a real story. This was around April of 2013. I saw a picture of a guy that graduated high school a year before me. And I liked it. And like all thugs from the Bronx, they see you like their shit and they inbox you immediately. So you know something is up. Not always a bad thing though. So like, he tells me, how's it been? Are you going to graduate this year? What are you going to do afterwards? I tell him, alright, I'm going to look for work. I'm going to look for a way to get some money. And he says, all right, I know a way for you to get some money. He asked me for, like, my phone number so he can, like, text me up later. I'm like, oh, all right. I get the text, and he's talking about going to the bank with me. I'm thinking, why would I want to go to the bank? It was the bank around 225, Citibank, I believe. I don't want to do, I don't want anything to do with a bank and a person from the Bronx. And don't get me wrong, this guy wasn't a black guy. If you guys are thinking, oh, you're just paranoid because he's black. He's not black. Probably has less black in him than I do, but he's not as white as me. <laughs> the guy was probably trying to fuck me over with this card shit, with these credit card scams. And I got all my friends saying that they're, they've had similar situations. Now, I didn't tell them about my story, but I see people on their wall saying, man, I'm tired of all these credit card scammers. You want to know how to get some real money? It's called a J-O-B. You guys are some corny-ass people. And then when... Rappers talk about it. Because sometimes these rappers do mention stuff that Google won't. <sighs> like, finally, somebody mentions this shit. People getting money from these credit card scams. Lots of fraud. Lots of BS. So, let, me get, let me get your credit card. You got a credit card? Like, uh, nah. Let's get you an account. It's stupid. I really don't understand it. I really don't like it because it means that you guys are walking cliches. Learn how to do some real white collar fraud based crimes like them Jewish guys. Like Neil Caffrey. Don't try this bullshit on me. What do you think, just because I'm a nerdy autistic guy, that I'm not street smart? After four years of going to a high school in the Bronx, I have a level of street smarts that really prevents me from dealing with this kind of bullshit. And I've been scammed twice last year. Before, and this is something that Newman could also relate to, I was going to get a fake-ass job, one of those Ponzi schemes where I have to do direct marketing bullshit. 
with no actual wage, just commission. And they say that they know a company and there's levels to this shit so you can become like top guy in the place within a short amount of time. That kind of direct marketing scam. I wouldn't call it a Ponzi scheme, but yeah. I got that kind of bullshit last year too. But this was from Queens. We're talking about something that Bronx people have to deal with, which is that credit card show where they want to bug you about that information. And they're going to spend that money on swagger. These aren't your criminals that are going to use that money for a nice house or an empire. No, it, they're going to spend it on Henny and Ciroc because those are the only two alcoholic beverages they know. That cognac that rappers like Nas like to represent from this area of cognac France and that liquor P. Diddy loves to rap along with various pop stars and rappers Ciroc I'm talking about and that's basically just a liquor made of grape as opposed to the grains that most people expect liquor to come from so that's the only shit they drink from what I can tell the Dominicans have a lot more variety I'll drink some crazy stuff like I know I forgot what it's called, but yeah, they'll, they'll drink like some shit that doesn't even get old. Some milky ass alcohol. But anyways, this is Mr. Wonka 7. Bronx guys, you need to get your shit together, because you're trying to fuck with the wrong nigga. It's not gonna happen. And suck my dick.